Metro hand out. What's he doing? <laughs> Still hanging in. That's good though. Dang. We are back. Episode 41 in the lonely, lonely studio here on Tremel Lab. Just us two tonight. Uh, you're probably used to that on the channel. Just the two, two of us. us. Hey, we're after this one, we're nine episodes away from the Big 50. We're going to try to have it on site at Moongo. Our official partner of the BSG podcast. We should make it a party. We should like a... Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Have like chips and dip and yeah, drinks. We should try Streamers. Do maybe have some people show up and like... have a, Maybe Anka let's have like a little long drive going on behind us. Oh, so like yeah. So if you're a watcher, you show up, get some drinks, make an appearance real quick on the pod. It'd be a live pod. Oh, behind yeah. Us. That would be awesome because we got live ability yeah. here oh that'd be cool we need to plan that out i'm in yeah show up we'll talk to Ann. maybe you can show up have a long drive competition behind us and we'll like as we're doing the pod we'll turn around oh so and so just nuked it 205, 205. it was casey you yeah, got no, a good no, no. one he got a hold of a good one <laughs> <laughs> it's better the episode this, i mean the video is going up actually tonight as we're speaking it's uploading i hit a drive he said that's a good one casey i was like oh it was that encouraging me and he said probably 195 <laughs> Where was it? Which one was it? It was whole one at Purcell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's uploading right now. That was after, because I teed off first. Yep. And then it worked all day. And then uh, I hit one, and then it shows Jeremy hit one. He, like, hit this low, like, I don't know, it probably started 40 yards this way and then hooked this way, and he was right in the bunker with me. Uh, so that's going to be episode, well, by the time this is up, you've already seen it, but go check it out. The video Gosh, hole two is that one I almost drove. Was it? No, two. Was it two or three? Uh, it was one of them was that short par four. Yeah. I was in the bunker it was short three, of it. Three. I remember it. Uh, Strong. So, as always, the Be Still Golf, the BSG podcast is presented by our friends at Moon Golf, which we just talked about them for a minute, but they have everything you need to get into golf. Uh, Zach just got fitted recently for the new Paradigm 3 Wood. So excited. So, so, my big issue right now is the launch for my 3 Wood. I think it's like a, almost like 17 degrees. So it goes a mile high, and oh, yeah. I lose all my distance, especially if there's wind. Yep. So I got fitted for, I guess it's almost a low launch, but it's an adjustable three wood. And I got the X stiff shaft. And you got fitted off the tee, right? Because your three wood's yeah. almost probably like 85% of the time you're hitting off the tee. Yeah. I don't use it off because, I mean, I'm not consistent with it. So I'd rather hit hybrid in the fairway and just yeah. get 220. 224 is plenty for me. Plenty, that's all you need. So the paradigm's coming for him, but like he got fitted, Brady got fitted for a shaft. Next week I'm getting fitted again for the hybrid. Ooh. And then my whole bag will be fitted. But you said you're going with a different kind of hybrid. I want the Ping G430. Unless, now when I went for the three wood, I had my mind on the Callaway, but mm -hmm. I did try others. I, uh, it might have been Josh, one of the uh, fitters there. He was like, Are you sure you don't want to try? I said, you're the you're the pro here. Yeah. I'll try. So I tried the stealth, and then it was immediate downgrade from oh. the way, the <laughs> way I was hitting the paradigm. So I'm up. I want the G430. I like a pretty brand agnostic bag. Until someone says, "Hey, we want you." Play. Yeah, Mizuno. <laughs> we not. know, we know you don't have anybody right now in Nobody. the content creator Nobody. area. We're available. Hit so we're games. here. Uh, so, yeah, Moon Golf has all that for you. They have golf balls, shirts, shoes, uh, putters, great putting section. Uh, we love Moon Golf. That's where we go to get all of our gear. We're done with the big store brands. We don't have to go into Dick's anymore and be like Amazon, none of that. Amazon. And Which is so crazy. I used to order golf balls all the time. Because I was like, well, I'll just get them from Amazon. And now, like, I just planned a trip to Opelika. Yep. Just go see Ann. They Are they Auburn or Opelika? Uh, that's Auburn. Look. <laughs> so go check out Moon Golf. Let them know that the BSG sent you. Uh, and while you're there, scan your phone on the code at the counter and sign up for the BSG Classic. Coming April 22nd at Point University Golf Club. So excited. This is going to be cool. So this is, if you haven't heard, it's a two-man scramble. Very competitive. Don't I mean, if you're just wanting to have fun, that's fine too. Show up. But this is going to be a competitive. And that's how we usually play anyway, <laughs> even in the competitive. Yeah. I should have had the trophies sitting right here so on the counter. Oh, where are they at? They're over there. I took them out early and took pictures of them. Oh. Um, but we're going to have two trophies for the winners to take home. As first place gets trophies, $250 gift card to Moon Golf apiece. Uh, second place has... The name engraved on the cup. Yep. We're going to have a huge cup, like our life size. It'll stay in the studio. Yeah, we'll but, keep it in the... But it'll be a big cup you can get your picture with. You'll have yep. your name on it. And then you'll get free entry next year. Next year or this fall. 
Or this fall. So the rest Details of Details pending. You can carry that thing around the rest of the day until it's time to go, and then it's got to come back in our hands. But you will get a trophy to take. Uh, so let's get into real quick. That was a classic. Let's let's jump into yesterday. Zach, I, Zach Brady and I. <laughs> the worst round I've had. In a long time. Over a year. It's yeah. got to be over a year because I didn't break triple digits last year. I didn't go above them. So we went to Stillwaters in Dayville, Alabama. Uh, we were excited because normally, I haven't played there in three years, but normally. Me and Jeremy have played several times Normally a great last course, year. right? It's great condition. Fairways are nice and firm. Greens are soft. Roll good. Um, that was not the case yesterday. Yeah. So the day started off fine. We got there. Some people, the guys were nice. They were excited. We were filming. Uh, actually came to watch us on the first tee. That was nerve-wracking. Yeah. But we got to the first green, and that's when we realized. I can't they didn't they, cut the grass. I can't believe they charged us full price for what we're playing right now. There was more crabgrass spots. I told Jeremy, I said, you honestly, from the condition, couldn't tell the fringe from the green. No. It was just, it's like they, I don't know. I mean, I know they can't really control the the water being wet in the fairways and whatnot. But they got to cut grass. Got to. They haven't hadn't rolled the greens in weeks, I would assume. So it just made it for a long day for the boys. And uh, every shot was terrible. When Brady shoots mid nineties, you know it's a tough day. Oh, I know. For the rest of us, and the the frustrating part, like I was thinking about today, I was like, man, I'm not really mad at where my golf game is. Like I didn't lose. I maybe lost one golf ball. It was just putting and around the greens kind of is where probably eight to ten strokes oh yeah and i lost, I lost several balls it was it was one of them days couldn't couldn't keep them in play and, yeah. and then you would be in play and have a great drive and you chip or wedge shot and it'd be so chunky your club so I told AJ, I was like, I don't know if it's like usually with the grass, you know, the club like bounces almost and oh, yeah. forces the ball up. But you'd swing the wedge and it'd go just slice through the mud and it'd go 30 yards. I told Brady early on, uh, I was not a fan of how every green, and that may be the way they want it designed, has a ridge in the middle of Somewhere it. Somewhere on it, yeah. There's not like a flat green. I, I just, I wasn't a fan of that. There's like no putt where you felt comfortable putting, I don't think. Mm, no, and then so Brady had a couple straight putts, and you just see all these little crabgrass spots. He said, "I bet that one turns it because it was in his line." Oh yeah, and you see it hit, and then it just turned left and was low. Yeah, you'll see several putts in the video where it does that. Oh, Actually, gosh, uh, there's a putt. I think it was towards the end that I almost I tried walking in and like it hit a crab's grass right at the end and mm-hmm. get it right. I was like, "Golly," because uh, your putter went straight up. He was like, "I'm was here." Ready. And but I knew it was disappointing. I've seen that course, <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, that's what we did. This is a part of our Alabama travel series. So this video will be coming out uh, next month. It's a Stableford, so we kept our points, and we're gonna do six of those throughout the year. At the end of the year, we'll probably get another little cup made, yeah, and have BSG Golfer of the Year. Uh, so we can't tell you how what the point situation is, who's in first. You have to wait for the video to come out. It's gonna be a different style video than we normally do, but we're excited about it. Uh, we think it's going to be a lot of I fun. I think I know location number three because we've only planned two locations so far. Yep. The next are they all planned? Uh, I don't, No, no, I don't think they're all planned. The next one's going to be kind of hard to get on. I hope we can do it. You think the next one's hard? The Well, I think we have we have connections to get on. It's just filming with – Oh, you're talking about that one. Yeah. I thought you were talking about – No, no, not the one that Brady grew up on. Oh. The so n- I'm I'm thinking we should do Lagoon. Oh, that should be on the rotation. Of course, so. we don't play. Yeah, and it'll be the same experience for all of us. Yep. I, but we, we, I don't think we take the can't, motorcycles. Can't this take time. motorcycles. That's the only bad part. The yeah. first time we played Lagoon Park, there was no camaraderie, no talking about shots <laughs> on the tee box. And the you greens. hit it, and you <laughs> all the way. <laughs> you imagine trying to hold a camera and write? It'd be a disaster. We'll have to take cars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so uh, that would be a good one, though, Lagoon. Zach Smith going to hook us up on the next one. I think so. The only problem is, so we'd have to play as a five some though, because he would have to play as well. Mm, yeah. Or we just have to take or, three. Or, yeah, so we just take three. Yeah, and just do that that way. That may be what happens. Anyway. I mean, would our fourth even know? Is he going to watch this? That's a good question. That, that's the question. Is the possible fourth even going to watch this? Text us the word uh, tripod if you're watching this. <laughs> if you don't text us in a week the word tripod, we know you don't listen. <laughs> that's it. We'll have to find out. Uh, so that's a new series going on. 
Exciting. Uh, exciting. Let's jump into this week real quick. We'll make some picks. You've been hot in fantasy golf. I don't move down to third now. No, who's I, like, who's I originally like? wanted Homa, uh-huh. and um, <laughs> I didn't pick him. I was like, no. Let me go. And then it. he did it. So, the boys, we have a fantasy PGA on PGA Tour, a fantasy league going right now. You need some of my water? <laughs> I got to clear my throat. Uh, let me go to the standings real quick. Let's see it's so we're... hard. A lot of people haven't been picked. So, AJ is in the lead, 434 points. Um, he, well, he actually picked Max Homa. Max Homa won. Yeah. And that's how I, I led the week prior because I had picked Rom. Was it Rom? Oh, yep. And Brady's at 389, which he picked Keegan. Keegan came in second, and he picked Max. He picked the one and two last week. Oh, gosh. Bailey, little, uh, what do we call him? Little, uh, what's the guy with long hair? They can crush the ball real far. Oh, shoot. I never forget his name. Oh, my gosh. I, long, long drive, hair. Long drive champ. Shoot. Oh, my. Now I got to look it up. I know. That's what I was thinking. Uh, you got you to look him up? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look him up. I'm trying to think who he did a video with. How do we not forget his name right now? Does he does he play with Good Good? Yeah, he plays uh, Kyle Berkshire. Yeah, that's it. Little Kyle Berkshire. 320, then it's you 264, and then it's me 230. And then Jeremy hasn't even picked one. I know. What are these guys doing? So this week is the uh, AT&T, mm-hmm. Pebble Beach. Tripod hasn't picked one either. Oh, my gosh. At all. Pebble Beach is going on right now. I made my picks just a little bit ago. Oh, did you? I was going to wait until I get home. Oh, that's AJ. I was like, what? I wish I could keep my same picks. I feel like they'd be good, except one of them's not playing this week. So I got Bo Hostler. He uh, came in third last year. I think he likes playing out there. I've got to keep Zach Blair in until Zach Blair does something. Uh, Speeth, he came in second last year. And Jewel Damon, he came in. I don't even know how to make my picks. Oh, there. So those are my picks. I think PGA needs an overhaul on their app. It should be easy like fantasy football, as big as golf is. They need to fix it for sure. Um, so they got AT and T Pebble Beach coming up. This is in Pebble Beach, California. If you didn't know, the weather at this point could be who knows. It could be wild. It's always out there, crazy. My overall pick for the tournament to win the whole thing. This isn't fantasy; just my pick for this week. Uh, he's been on a playing sec. I mean, second last year. I picked him earlier in the year. Jordan Spieth, sticking with him. I thought you didn't like Jordan Spieth. No, no, I don't like Justin Thomas and Rory. Oh, yeah, you did say that about JT last year, and then he won. I got Spieth. Two events. Who you? Uh, Let's see. You know, I like a good name. (laughs) I know you're looking through the list right now. Kevin Kisner's in it, but he's one I I would never pick Kisner because he's fine with finishing 13th. Yeah, that's the only – And he's. I understand. I I understand his – He's also made a statement that he does not play well out west because of different types of grass, and he doesn't play a lot of events out there. So, not picking him. Uh, Charlie Hoffman would be a good pick. I think Zach Blair's got it in him. Uh, Do or don't? Don't. No, he's just a. What like, about Wesley? I don't think he's gonna win. No, he's in the. He's in is the. Is he gonna be top the, ten? Oh heck no! <laughs> <laughs> he is not. Uh, oh, they got a pick. So you got Eric Cole, Damon. Mm. Harrison Endicott. Let me look at his stats. My boy Zach Blair's already made two hundred twelve thousand this year. Gosh, and he's played three uh, events. It says nine events. Throughout, you know, nine. Well, you know how the season is. It started last. Fall. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, dang, nine in six weeks. He's played the last three or four events though, and missed the cut. Uh, how many cuts has he made? Uh, he's made three of them. And he's made that much money. Isn't that wild? He's 120 good. in the FedEx. So I've got Spieth going. Sticking with him. Let us know in the comments who you've got winning this bad boy. Let me go. Is Xander playing? Oh, that's a good question. I believe I just exited out. Um, no, I'm almost there. Uh, I don't think I don't see him on the list. Let's say Xander's the dude. Is JT's not in it? Is he? Nope, he's not oh. in it. He's Riley talking. Davis is in it though. You know he played good. That's how I'm gonna go with Riley Davis. Davis Riley. Oh, Davis Riley. Yeah. Davis Riley. Jordan Spieth. Let's know in the comments who you got. And then Brady got. It's in oh, Fitzpatrick. Matt, Matt yeah. Fitzpatrick. That oh, my bad. <laughs> That's who he's got. Uh, we don't know who Mitchell has. Oh, does Mitchell watch PGA Tour? Does Mitch watch golf? That's a question. <laughs> Mitch, if you watch golf, text pineapple. <laughs> Do you watch that golf? That is pineapple. 
Or you just play it. Do you Got, watch it, Mitch? Yeah. If you make it this far into the podcast, text pineapple and we will each send you five dollars. Oh, that's true. I'll cash up it. I mean, I'll uh, Apple Pay it. I got it ready. All right, so I want to get into this real quick. Brady had on the notes. Uh, there's been a little bit of some saltiness going on. Hostility. In the Instagram content creator golf world. so Which is crazy to me because of what they've been together. So, agreed. So, part of us being content creators, uh, we kind of look up and see what other guys are doing and how it's working. And so, recently, if you watch any kind of YouTube or social influencer golf You've seen there's been a lot of stuff going on. To recap, uh, Tig and Grant left Good Good, do their own things. They've been filming a lot together. Left before. Mizuno and Cobra. Yep, left them both doing their own thing. Uh, signed, well, first, Good Good signed with Callaway, right? Right. That was first. They were all spread out. There's Tacomo, there was Mizuno. Uh, who did? That was it. Just the who's Yeah, that was it. Uh, signs with Callaway. Shocker. Huge deal. Yeah. Big endorsed by him now. Would love that for the BST crew. Because uh, Garrett was very much being pushed by Mizuno. Like, they put him on the main page. Yeah. Uh, he was getting a lot of support. So. I thought he was playing them too, right? Yes. So, for them to go to Callaway, there had to be a pretty good incentive to get to Callaway. Absolutely. Super. Well, you got to think. They're the kings of YouTube golf right now. Yeah. They're number one. Uh, well, Rick Shields is technically subscri- subscribers number one, but. So th- I'm, I bet they sell more merch. Oh, 100%. Everything they have sells out instantly. Yeah, I agree. I don't even know if Rick Shield has merch. But I agree. They sell more. So they go to Callaway. Almost right after they go to Callaway. Uh, Mike, Boom. Yeah. Big announcement. Taylor Madden. Wow. Which one would you rather have? I think it's not which one I'd rather have. I think Taylor Made is more uh, like notable. I guess yeah. really, like well known. Taylor Made is Tiger. I was about to say, you have Tiger. You have John Rom. You have Corn. Uh, Colin Morcow, you have Rory. Who does Callaway have that even wins? They had Phil. Yeah, Phil. I s- I just said Rom. Rom's with Callaway, I believe. Oh yeah, Rom's with Callaway. Uh, <laughs> Either one. I, so I love the. I mean, outside of the paradigm, traditionally, I love the way Taylor Made looks. Oh the yeah, P seven nineties look great. I have them in my bag. The um the stealth, all that with the yep. carbon coming out first yep. looks great. But now I've seen the. The Paradigm? Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks so good. When I saw it at, at Moon Golf, and the day it came out, she had them all, the driver heads. I was like, that looks so good. Oh, yeah, Brady was getting fitted for that shaft. They already had the And I love the bottom, the blue, speckled, whatever, is all different. So no, it's, it's, like, like, it's almost like uh, like washed water. Yeah, and it's, it's everyone's unique, so it's one of one. Really? Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. It's not the same pattern. So if you look at the bottom of them, they're all like, it's like different. So yours. Oh, is I didn't unique. even know that. Yeah, I saw somebody talking about it. Um, so yeah, Taylor made Callaway. Taylor made then. Now this wasn't Tig or Grant posting this. Taylor made posted it from silver to gold. Yeah, it was. Uh, no, when good becomes great. Oh yeah, yeah. They were hitting balls at the kingdom. This was on Taylor made's page. Which so I'll give Tig and Grant credit. They didn't post it on their personal page. So it's not like they took the jab, but they approved it obviously. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor May says when good becomes great. It's such a, a play on words, too, for Co- good, good. Yes. So if you're following along, they were a part of good, good. Taylor May says when good becomes great. Uh, probably a few days later, Steven makes a post. Uh, and that's when he said, y'all traded silver. Gold for silver. Gold for silver or something like that. Uh, and then, like, the next day, Bubby makes a post, and he's like, basically, Bubby just kind of goes at it just like, Y'all want to do all this, find y'all a new marketing manager. That one sucked. That post made no, blah, blah, blah. Just goes at him. Did you see that one? He's silly. So he wasn't even originally a part of it. He was trying to do his own thing. Yeah, and then he just kind of hopped on to good, good. Yeah, so he's coattailing. But I mean, he's in there now living yeah, in the yeah. house. He's but. good to go now. Brady made the po- Brady in the notes said that good, good took an L on that one. Uh, and a lot of people were commenting. Because saying, they retaliated back. Yeah. Like Taylor made... Just made the posting fun. I think it was good fun. Yeah. Or great fun. Or just they knew there was going to be a very wise social media post that would get views, likes, clicks, comments. And who knows if, I mean, you know, Grant and um, Micah, cousins, how do we know? No, no, I mean, Garrett, Garrett. Garrett and Micah, cousins, how do we know they're not playing this behind the scenes? Oh, that'd be so wild. You know how like Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor were just promoting the fight yeah. so big? Just for money? Yep. How do we know that's not what's that going be, on here? That would be crazy if they were. 
Um, so the whole thing is just a lot of people are commenting saying good good is like two worst people, Bubby and Steven are the ones trying to defend them. Uh, I don't know. Like Brent today said, it's hard to watch. I, I tried to watch some of their video today. I was like, this just, it's not like. I think the same without Tig. No, I used to love watching Good Kids videos. And now it's just like, I guess because I grew out of the whole gimmicky, challenge yeah. type videos. Um, I like just watching the golf. I like now. some no laying up. No laying up. Love no laying up. That's, to me, the best content creators out there. Under that, uh, his content's not as good as no laying up, but I love the Brian Bros because it's just golf. What about Random Golf Club? Yeah, RGC, he's starting to get a little crazy. Not crazy, but like. Uh, he's he's his own guy. He's his own guy. I watch his own videos. person, which I appreciate because I think it's got to be hard. Like some days, because all f- there's four of us. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes there's four of us, but um, most of the time, three of us are always complimenting each other on yeah. different aspects. Like if I'm not very creative, which I'm I'm not digitally. Yeah. I can come up with the business ideas and sponsorship yeah. thoughts and stuff we like that. Fill each other in good. Yeah. Like the weak spots. And then Brady's always got good ideas, too, on different things to do and different layouts. Mm-hmm. And then you can kind of put our vision together yeah. on film. And then Mitchell can do that trick with a hot dog. <laughs> and buy koozies. Yeah, and buy koozies. <laughs> Mitchell, we need another. If you watch this <laughs> this <laughs> far, or, please. Order more koozies. <laughs> 500 koozies. Just put it on the Amex, my boy. For the tournament, we need to have hand please. out koozies. And I gave out the last two at Stillwaters that I had in my bag. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't have any. There. We need some. And you put them back in the bag. 500 more. Mitchell, if you've seen this this far, put it on the Amex. Let's see if you do. Boy, I ain't going to get no notification. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, RGC though Random Golf Club he has a series that he does that I love where he takes I don't know if you've seen it uh, so they go to PGA courses like they went to TPC he takes a like a scratch golfer a mid handicapper oh a yeah yeah hit. love it yep and he's, they all set goals like the high handicappers like I want to break 100 and then I want to break 90 then I want to break 75 and uh, it's the three people all playing the same hole same time different skill levels and it's so fun to watch to me love, love it. it I wish I could be that high handicapper I know because it's a Free run, they fly you out and everything. I saw him post about it one day. And then you get to see, I think. Oh gosh, the weekend wore me out driving. But uh, oh yeah, long. You get to see like better ball strikers, and I yep. think the more you play with better talent, it makes you play better. Yeah, like that, I think we play down to yeah. each other's worst levels sometimes. Is that Brady played to our worst talent? Yeah, yesterday. Brady was with us. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like if Brady was playing with. Maddox and Scott. Oh, he played better. He would have figured it out. Yeah. But he was with us. So he's just seeing the bad and playing bad. What a bad round that was. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Um, but yeah, no laying up is just different. But uh, so we can do the drop zone if you want to, real quick. Presented by Tell Warlord me. Beard Oil. That's it. Veteran owned and locally operated out of Mobile, Alabama. So Zach recently ordered some. And this is, you know, they're human. They they're made, a, mis- they made mm-hmm. a mistake, sent him the wrong stuff. But but I emailed and I said, hey, I got someone else's order. I gave him the order number and the guy's name because I was like, I'm sure he's going to get my order mm-hmm. or whatever. They said, oh, no. Um, and I sent, so I was laying in bed Saturday night after we played golf. Uh-huh. Or no, after I went to Birmingham. And um, I was laying in bed at 10 o'clock, sent the email. Jonah's so like, what are you doing? I was like, I, I'm just finishing this email real quick before bed. 12 15 that night an hour and a half later oh man they said so sorry about that uh keep it our loss your gain your new order is on the way and i already got the shipping no- notification oh, wow. today for the correct stuff because I, I want the car sense yeah that's why they're the goat warlord beard oil bsg 15 for 15 percent off uh beard oil everything car sense like he said check them out the question is and you let us know in the comments should range balls be included in your tea time Yes. Absolutely. I'm not going anywhere else to warm up. I Agreed. mean, you're there. I'm our, there's nowhere we play this less than 50 except point. No. And I don't get why. If I'm paying, yesterday at Stillwaters, I paid $61 to golf, and then it was like another five or six for the range balls. The range balls, by the way, were only like 15 golf balls. Yeah, it was very little. Tell me what it's called. It's not like I'm buying a product and keeping it. I'm literally hitting your golf I'm balls. I'm borrowing. Yep, and then you're going to pick them back up. If I'm already pl- paying to play your golf course, why are you not letting me? You pay the cart free? fee. You pay the rent and the green yep. fees, and then even like the the nice courses, for instance, like Purcell, they're cl- they're there. The, the guy's refilling it while you're swinging. Yep. he's got that pyramid ready. Noonan Country Club, they're there. I know a lot of country clubs are that way, but 
I think it would make the public golf experience way better. Why do I have to pay to get ready to play? Yep. I think they may be worried about, this is crossing my people that just park, show up, walk up there, and they're just hitting. But then again, if you're close enough to drive to use that for your practice, you're going to go play there. As I say, why is the chipping greens free, the putting greens free? Why can't there just be balls sitting up there to yeah. hit? It don't make no sense. Yes, 100%, I think it should be free. Somebody's going to probably tell us, well, this is why it can't no, be. No, it's a business. It's got to do this. Well, I'm, I'm playing. I mean, I'm going to play there. Exactly. I'm going to buy a drink. It's like a business like a business I run. If somebody orders something that's, I mean, like that would be a low-cost range ball. I just give it to them with their order. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, here. It just makes the experience better. Obviously, you have to replace them eventually, but, I mean, how much does it cost for course maintenance? Surely, it's not a razor-thin no. margin. Got, no, those balls are probably so cheap in bulk. And like the still wars yesterday, what even range balls is probably golf balls they find in the lake and around. Oh yeah, we found two vice. Yeah, so it's just there. Walk people are walking around and finding golf balls, and they're like, Let's "That's probably what they're doing instead of cutting grass, <laughs> walking look, the woods, looking for range balls." <laughs> yeah, hey, I found a good one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think so. Let's know in the comments what you think. Uh, and this think? will be a poll question. This will yes. be a good one. We're gonna put it on the Instagram store. With then the we're poll. gonna start adding golf courses. <laughs> yeah, we we're gonna even at RTJ you got to pay. Oh, that's I do remember. That's about stupid too. Yeah, and it's don't you pay at the clubhouse and then you got to mm-hmm. go over there and pay for range balls in another mm-hmm. building. So yep. you can't even pay in one swipe. Nope, that's even worse. If I've got to pull my card out twice and like I'm trying pay to places, once I pay the first, I'm trying to put my wallet and keys in my pocket yep. on the bag and go. RTJ, that's wild that they don't let you have free range balls. That just makes the experience a little uh, not as good. Yep. So. I mean, that's what I got on the list. You got anything? Anything coming up you want to discuss? Uh, nope. We I got, got that fitting. Um, we got a big four-man match in two weeks. Yep. This coming. Oh, I'm dreading if I play like that. So, today, a week next week from when you're watching this, the video against Jay will come out where Zach and I went down to Panama City. Mm, and great then, experience. Yep. That was so much fun. And then that'll come out that weekend where – Filming, the video won't be out until the next month, but we're filming a four-man against the course record holder at Point University Golf Club. Uh, so we're going to be taking on, his name's Jacob Joseph, correct? Yep. 6'8". He is tall. I think he's like 6'6", for real. I don't know if he's, yeah, he may be. He was standing next to Brady. You know Brady's a little on the shorter side. But this guy five has, eight, five nine. He has the course record at the club. So we're, it's going to be a challenge. I think even if he goes out there and fires off a 68, it's a par 71. Fires off smoked a, him. 68. You think it was smoked? Well, I, I think if he's only shooting a 68, smoked. Supposedly all four of us are going to be there. You know how that could change. Tripod. Yeah, tripod. My boy. <laughs> you know how that could we change. We're counting on you. And so we're going to try to get that early tee time. should go a lot quicker than the round with Maddox did because now we've kind of got a rhythm. Yeah. And a camera. Well, we had a camera. We got a dedicated cameraman. Yeah. With charged batteries. Charged batteries and a SD. We, <laughs> we hooked him up with SD cards now. <laughs> Lane, you're good to go. Look, we love Lane. Lane comes out to take all the photos you see of us on the course. JCLH photography. That's something him. I never thought like I'd have because I've always like filmed us like yep. playing with my phone for different shots. Then like my current profile pictures, one Lane took me. I'm like, I love seeing like myself play because it's in still. You don't know whether yep. the shot's good or bad. <laughs> and you can't get that with the iPhone. Brady yesterday was actually talking about it. He showed me his phone, and that photo of him that Lane took is his background. And of so, himself? <laughs> that's what I was going to Kind of vain. <laughs> drop zone question. <laughs> Should yourself be your background? <laughs> but that's Brady's uh, lock screen on his home screen. Uh, lock screen. I don't know what his home screen is. But, yeah, so we love having Lane out there. Go check out JCLH Photography as well. Dude's getting married this fall. Me and Zach are going to tag team. Tag team. It. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here. Today. Lane, we're ready. <laughs> so I think that's it for the uh, – podcast you good peace like subscribe follow share bsg to the moon to the moon when moon go <laughs>